Hey everybody, how's it going? Matthew Kadish here, author of the Earthman Jack Space Saga, available on Amazon.com and other fine online retailers. And today we are going to be talking about some interesting uh, TV news that has to do with our favorite former indie darling, Kevin Smith. Uh, basically, uh, news has broken that Kevin Smith is going to be working on a mysterious uh, TV project. Now, uh, for those of you who uh, know who Kevin Smith is, you know that in the 1990s, he was kind of the spearhead of the in indie film movement that happened uh, during that decade. Uh, he kind of came on the scene with Clerks and then uh, sold out to studios and did Mallrats and then kind of gravitated back towards more indie stuff with uh, Chasing Amy and Dogma and, you know, things of that nature. And uh, I believe after uh, the failure of his movie Jersey Girl, he kind of uh, retreated a little bit. And he's never been quite the same since uh, the failure on that movie. And uh, But he's been kind of, you know, uh, back in the indie scene doing these like smaller films like Yoga Hosers. And he's got a new movie coming out, with, uh, which is kind of a return to his 1990s indie roots called the Jay and Silent Bob reboot, which is basically the exact same movie as Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, except, uh, you know, uh, decades later. So, uh, you know, Kevin Smith has continued to, to work on stuff. He's been involved with a lot of different TV series. And most recently, he's also been directing episodes of some of the CW properties uh, for uh, DC Comics. Uh, I believe he's worked on both The Flash and Legends of Tomorrow and uh, t TV shows like that. So recently, uh, there's been buzz about this uh, mysterious TV project that he's been set to work on. And uh, this article comes to us from comicbook.com. And it says, Kevin Smith lands big TV series involving nostalgic IP. Before long, Kevin Smith will apparently be showrunning a new television series that many pop culture fans will be excited about. According to Smith on his latest episode of Fat Man Beyond, he and his co-host Mark Bernadin have been hired to write a new television show involving quote-unquote nostalgic intellectual property, although any details beyond that weren't shared by the two writers. Why don't we have an effing show? Smith hypothetically asked before revealing the news. We got a show. That's when it was revealed Smith would be leading the way in the writer's room and asked Bernadin, uh, who worked on uh, Hulu's Castle Rock, to join his writer's room, another aspect of the writing process entirely new to the independent filmmaker. I've never been a guy to work a writer's room, and not because I'm against it, but Indy is alone, Smith said. One time on Clerks the Cartoon, we had a writer's room that was so effed up, it was weird to have people, you know, you'd pitch an idea and they'd say, oh, I don't know, and I'm like, I effing invented Clerks. <laughs> it's kind of funny, you know, you're the inventor and you pitch an idea and everyone's like, ah, I don't know about that. And you're like, I'm, I'm the guy who created it. I imagine that's how uh, George Lucas feels a lot of times. Throughout the rest of the introduction, Smith and Bernadin were sure to point out the property isn't a Marvel property, but did admit it's certainly a well-known property that it have viewers feeling nostalgic. The two also did reveal, against better judgment, that Supergirl writer Eric Carrasco had also joined the writer's room. In addition to his time on the CW show, Carrasco has an extensive resume when it comes to working in animated superhero properties, including Justice League vs. The Fatal Five, and Legend Quest. Again, no plot details were released, though Smith did end up hinting that an announcement as to what the show could be could come as early as San Diego Comic-Con. Now, obviously, San Diego Comic-Con came and went, and Warner Brothers actually skipped Comic-Con altogether this year, so no announcement was forthcoming. But it's believed that uh, uh, Smith is probably going to make an official announcement sometime in August. Uh, so, you know, we have that to look forward to. Now, there was a lot of uh, kind of speculation that Smith was going to do some type of Marvel property and that it was going to be a movie. In fact, if we go over to uh, Slash Film here, uh, he uh, kind of has an interesting quote in this article, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, but it made it very clear that it, this is not a Marvel uh, movie. This is not a movie of any type. It's a TV show. So uh, here's the quote uh, that I want to read to you guys from this article, which I thought was was pretty funny. Uh, I know I'm being vague. I wish I could effing tell you. Uh, and at the moment, I, I can tell you, man, I'm going to be like, blah. And you're going to be like, what the F? 
but it's not a movie. I've had a lot of people be like, oh, it's an effing Marvel movie. Nobody would give me a movie. Nobody would give me a movie whatsoever. I'm struggling to make Jay and Silent Bob reboot. This is a series thing, but it's an effing dynamite series in a real, real, weird, wonderful place. So more as I know more. Uh, so forgive me for butchering that quote uh, in my reading. But basically, uh, you know, Kevin Smith's filmmaking days have been kind of difficult. Uh, his last few movies have been independently financed. And uh, I believe Jay and Silent Bob was another uh, independently financed work. And it was done super cheap. Um, so, you know, he, he hasn't been able to make like a big studio film, I think, since maybe... Um, Cop Out, which was a, a huge uh, bomb on his part, uh, simply because it was just a, a really weird, bad movie. Um, but it, it was his last big studio film, I think, and everything since then has just been uh, indie stuff, uh, which is where Smith tends to shine. Now, Smith has been involved in a lot of different TV shows over the years, and none of them have really panned out. In fact, if you remember back you know, before Disney owned Star Wars, Smith was actually involved in the Star Wars TV show that George Lucas was um, going to be doing. And uh, I believe he worked on a couple of uh, scripts for that, but eventually none of that stuff ended up getting used and uh, it was shelved. Um, but, you know, he's had, you know, uh, he's kind of flirted with TV stuff um, on the writing end of things. And so there's a lot of speculation over what this uh, nostalgic IP-based uh, series is that he's going to be working on. And, you know, Smith, he's no stranger to TV in the sense that, you know, he's involved in a couple of TV shows uh, currently with, in the acting, or at least appearing on it. Uh, things like Comic Book Men, which is a reality show that um, he kind of does for, I believe it's AMC. And uh, then, of course, there's um, some show about weed, uh, I think that might be on epics. Please don't quote me on that. I'm just going off of memory for here. But uh, this is big news if indeed he's going to be involved in uh, show running, basically a TV show. And so there's a lot of speculation out there as to what exactly he's going to be doing. Now, if we look at his career trajectory uh, up to now, he has a lot of inroads with uh, Greg Berlanti Productions. And Berlanti Productions is the company that is responsible for all the CW DC shows, uh, stuff like uh, Arrow, The Flash, uh, Legends of Tomorrow, Black Lightning, um, all that stuff. So uh, Smith has been um, tapped to direct some episodes of those series, so we know that he has a relationship with Greg Berlanti. And uh, some of the theories are that he's going to be working on a DC property uh, via Greg Berlanti's production company. So uh, we know that uh, Kevin Smith has become famous for kind of being a, a big shill, uh, not only for all uh, comic book movies and Star Wars movies, but in particular DC movies. Um, pretty much every DC movie that comes out, Smith has nothing but glowing praise for it. So he's obviously uh, in DC Comics' uh, back pocket. And um, basically... Greg Berlanti has this huge sweeping deal with Warner Brothers Media. And Warner's is really ramping up its content offerings because it's going to be launching this um, HBO Max streaming service. So they're desperate for content, original content, to fill that type of thing. So my guess is that this new TV series that Kevin Smith is going to be working on is going to be for the HBO Max uh, streaming service. And it's probably going to be produced by Greg Berlanti. Now the question is, what is it going to be based on? And, uh, you know, nostalgic IP could refer to pretty much anything from the 90s. <laughs> you know, uh, it doesn't have to go back to the 50s or anything like that, that old or the 80s. My guess is that it's probably a 90s property. Um, but if we look at what Greg Berlanti kind of has planned, we know that uh, one of the things on his slate, at least according to IMDb, is a Booster Gold TV series. And I think that if anyone kind of fit the uh, the bill for writing a Booster Gold character, it would be Kevin Smith. So my number one theory for what this uh, new Kevin Smith TV show is going to be is it's going to be uh, a Booster Gold TV show that you know he's going to be writing because it just seems to fit with what we know of his relationship with Greg Berlanti and his love of DC Comics. And the character itself just seems like a Kevin Smithy type character. You know, he's kind of self-centered. Uh, he can time travel, so there's lots of room for, you know, doing like like funny like 
you know, uh, time travel stories and, and stuff along those lines. So that would be my first pick. Now, the other alternate theory that has been making the rounds on the internet is that this series is going to be based off of Buckaroo Banzai. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, Smith was previously involved in trying to adapt a, you know, the Buckaroo Banzai movie into a TV show. And things kind of didn't go well with that. It kind of fell apart. Uh, and um, Smith, you know, left to do other things. Now, uh, the prevailing theory is that somehow the rights to that got cleared up and that uh, Smith is coming back to take Buckaroo Banzai and turn it into a TV series. And that, to me, seems like Buckaroo Banzai is a much more nostalgic uh, intellectual property than something like Booster Gold. I mean, Booster Gold was never really all that popular. Um, you know, he's kind of one of the lesser known uh, DC Universe characters. But Buckaroo Banzai is definitely a, a movie that a lot of people grew up watching and loving. And it never truly got the sequel that, you know, it promised or deserved. And it also fits really well in line with Smith's sensibilities. And I think he'd be the perfect guy to kind of shepherd it uh, in, into uh, the TV world. So that's the second big prevailing theory. Um, beyond that, there, there's really not much to, to go off of. So if, the, if those two aren't, aren't the properties that he's talking about, then... God only knows what, what he's, uh, you know, referring to in terms of the nostalgic IP. Could be something like uh, The Bionic Man or some other kind of TV show that people grew up watching that uh, is, uh, you know, kind of primed for a reboot. But, you know, who knows at this point. So let me ask you guys, what's your theory on what Kevin Smith is going to be working on? Are you excited that Kevin Smith is going to be kind of show running his own TV show? Uh, are you a fan of the Kevin Smith uh, films from the 90s? And uh, are you excited about the Jay and Silent Bob reboot? Let me know in the comments on this video. And um, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more movie news, TV news, and entertainment analysis. This is Matthew Kadish, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later.